The SV file is a dynamic file that is used to start the database. It holds, it holds both static and dynamic parameters that exist inside the database. It holds both static and dynamic parameters that exist in the database. Are you guys hearing me? In short, it holds all database parameters slash settings. Right? It is a binary file that cannot be manually edited. It is the first file that Oracle looks for in order to start the database successfully. Notice I said first file. Are you guys hearing me? It's the first file. Right? If Oracle cannot find the SV file, To start the database, I said start, not open, to start the database, it looks for its little brother. Which is called the what? The P file. The P file. And Mr. Andre, what does P stand for? Are you asking or are you telling me? Uh -huh. It's called a parameter file. Keith, we good. Right? No, Keith, keep going. Listen to me. Listen to me. The reason you, everybody, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Listen, the reason why, right? The reason why when we first created, or when we created a database, the first time when we first started class, and we did what? SQL plus slash assist DBA, and then we did startup, right? And we got that error, right? The reason is because not only could Oracle not find what, listen, in order for our database to successfully start, when we first start up the server, right? Oracle must read the .bash profile, you guys get that, right? but we already deleted the database prod. So we recreated a new database, right? And then we did SQL plus slash assist and then we did startup, right? It's not gonna work, right? Why? Because Oracle had already dynamically also, what? Deleted our ORCL database or prod database from the what? Oracle home slash DBS location. The DBS location, right? You understand what I'm saying? So when you did startup, Right? Oracle has already read the drop batch for it thinks it's still prod because we hadn't bounced the server yet. Right? So now, when you did start up, you got what? Unable to open up Oracle home slash DBS slash init prod.ora. Right? You saw that, right? What Oracle is saying is this hey, buddy, I know you want to start up this database, but guess what? I can't find the SP file. And as the last resort, I can't find this little brother, which is called the what? The P file which is called the what? Init database name dot ORA. Ah, when you see such a thing, you got to go and query those four different places. Well, just query the etc slash ORA tab. You can do the DBCA if it makes you feel more comfortable as well. But the etc slash ORA tab will always tell you what databases you have on your server. Always, straight, direct. You don't have to go to DBCA. 
You can, it'll make you feel happy, right? But go to slash etc slash or tab, cat it. It'll tell you what database. When you look at it, oh, this is stage. But when I go into my dot profile, it's still looking as prod. Match it both together and you should be good to go.